Hey, come on in. Welcome to my coop. Oh, I always wanted to say that. This is a tour of the old chicken coop. Um, I figured I'd do it before it goes to its new owner. Um, everybody had been wondering how um, I went about building it. Really, really simple and straightforward. Um, basically, I built it out of pallets the 2x4 frame and the frame is literally just like the four corners let me show you so here's the door it's all pallet board I just made a uh, not even a full rectangle of 2x4 just 2x4s two, two, um, two going up and down to hold these on man it's pretty straightforward There is some pieces of sheathing, like for the windows. Got some hardware cloth. This coop worked out perfect. I just didn't realize I was going to end up with as many chickens as I did. Watch out, pup. Watch out, pup. Watch out. This ain't about you. This ain't about you. This ain't about you today. This ain't about you. Down here. Now, originally, this was meant to be. Will you stop pulling me, boy? Stop. Stop. Go on. Go on. I'll be with you in a minute. Busy mess, sir. Were you crew grabbing the tripod? Stop, pup. So originally down here was a duck house. Well, it turned into being a chick brooder. And it worked out really, really well. Obviously, when I got the chicks and turned this into a brooder, I put um, some perches up here for them. And they did great down here. I mean, now down here at the bottom, it's paver, pavers. And the reason why that was, the reason why that ended up being pavers, is because of two peeking ducks. I eventually got um, rid of both of those. One was dispatched, and the other one was given to um, a friend of mine. It's easy, it made it really easy to have pavers down here to be able just to take a hose, especially with those ducks. Ducks are messy. Messy, oh my lord, like they are messy. So it made it easy to take a hose when you wanted to clean them, out, clean them out and just hose it down and just get it all out of there, right? Now the top here, you see you got their, their three nests. And then you've got their one perch. And then on top there, you got their other perch. These are all pallet boards. All the whole walls and everything are pallet boards. If you can see, like that's 2x4. This is 2x4. I had a 2x4 for the center of the, for the roof. That's where I had, trying to get you in here. This is where I had their uh, solar lights hanging from. The same deal goes underneath. A little eyelet, eyelet um, screw, whatever you want to call it. I really suggest those solar lights. They work really, really good. But they loved it up here. When they all hopped up there, a few of them down here. So there, was eight, there was eight up here. And there were seven younger ones down here. And now all 15 of them are in the new chicken coop the chick mahal that you've been watching the videos of paul if you haven't seen them guys or you're new here check them out so yeah this worked out really well and the white is caulk take you around here to the nest so i made it to where there again all the pallet boards i found these pallet boards on the other side of town from a gentleman retired gentleman that basically took pallets apart and so they were ready to go. I had to come down to size, and it's basically a, this is basically a four foot by four foot by about six and a half foot at the peak, about six foot at the bottom, and it's got the plastic plastic roofing. I mean, this same here. I even put this up underneath here. It stayed nice and dry. The water would run right down. 
Put some locks here, which I don't know who will try to get in here, but you know, swipe or no swiping. And then reach in here, grab your eggs, as you've seen me do, I think, time and time again on the videos. I'm going to miss this thing. Will you get out of there? That's not for, that's not for a puppy. Yeah, by the way, she fits through the new chicken coop door. I was yelling for her the other day, and here comes Ruger. But no Riley, and I had to walk around the corner, and I saw her sticking her head out. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is very straightforward. I mean, it worked out really, really well. Um, like I said, I was highly suggest little solar lights. I got to take these down. Pilot boards, two by fours, couple sheets of these, and you can even make this all one unit. I always call it the condo because there's upstairs and downstairs. You know they can't get they couldn't get to each other so that's a big adjustment for my flock because there's two different two different cliques and now they're living together all under, under the same roof together now like there was no separation but yeah i mean now also the flooring that's you know your floating hardwood floating floor i just had that laying around so i was um, going from flooring to carpet in, in my house so I ripped up some of this because it was going to be going to be thrown away anyway, and thought I'll put it up here, and it made it really nice. Made it really makes it really easy to clean, really easy to clean. If you come around here, I just had some. Remember, there was, there was a run right here. Obviously, it's down, and these cables. I still, I think this. Let me take a wild guess. I think this is the downstairs one. I could never get it right. Let's see. Let's see which one it is. Nope, <laughs> it's the upstairs one. So yeah, it's just a simple cable, simple cable system where from the outside of the run you can grab, you can grab the cable to open it up. And I know the dogs are being real nosy about. It. They're wondering what's going on. Chickens are definitely wondering what's going on. So, you know, they have their ladder, the older ones to go up, and then the younger ones will go in there. And it was no problem for the longest time, but then I started finding some of the younger ones up, up top and vice versa. And I knew as soon as I, I, I would leave them for like, I don't know, a few minutes maybe, and just stand, I would stand there and um, just listen. And sure enough, I'd hear Falkhorn in there wanting to fight with them. So I'd have to reach in there, grab the babies, put them back underneath. If one of the hands, one of the older hands was on, on the bottom, I let them be because they, they're not, they don't solve no problems like Falkhorn does. But anyway, I'm going to hate to see this go. I mean, it, it worked out nice. But I'm also ready to have this part of my yard back too. And I know the chickens. I know. I know they. I know they. They love the new, the new, the new pad, the new crib. I don't know where else really. I mean, I put like board, a board here that way the shavings you know wouldn't fall out. You can easily make this removable if you want. That way, when you clean it out, you just sweep it off into the trash can. Um, I never really mess with taking it off. Same thing with underneath here. You know, I have this here. And a lot of you guys might be thinking, well, that probably didn't work out good for the chickens, but yeah, actually, it, I was skeptical at first. I was. I was skeptical about putting chickens underneath here. I and mean, it says meant for ducks. I mean, and I had pavers all up underneath here, so there was no predators are going to, like coyote or raccoon, nothing like that was going to get up underneath here and get to them. There was never a worry with, with I worry with that. I had pavers around the whole run underneath it. So there was no worry about predators going underneath anyway. Ventilation. So like the way I built this, if you see this little area right here, it's got a lot of cobwebs on it. Uh, that's nice. What do you expect, Jason? It's cobwebs. Um, ventilation. You want to leave some kind of ventilation. So like back here I put I left a vent, a vent, and same with up here, get your camera just right, there's a vent, a vent. that way it can vent, circulate through, back and forth, 
and plus they had the windows. But uh, as for the babies, when I had the ducks, it stayed pretty, like, I'm going to say fresh down there. I mean, it, it could stink if you let it go long enough, but they always said to make sure there's plenty for ducks, especially ventilation. I figured if the ducks was fine down there, the chickens would be. And now the chickens are almost to almost full grown size. Well, yeah, so I mean, it's just a simple design. I mean, you can lock, shut, shut these little simple hinges. I even put their little um, perches. Well, hello. Um, hello, pup. Okay, thank you. Hey, Ruger. What are you doing, pup? Bob, you are man. Man, you're gonna be a big old boy. You're gonna be a big old boy. Okay, let, 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 let daddy let daddy finish. I'll I'll play with you. Hold on, boy. Let me shut, let me shut this. Move. No, pops, pops. Oh my lord, they're getting big. Especially him, he's getting stocky. I'm about to go get him weighed again. I haven't weighed him since. I don't know. I want to say it was around. Maybe it was around like around like June, I think. And he was 95 pounds. Well, now they just turned one last month. And I'm thinking he's probably about 120. If I had to guess, I'll, I'm gonna try to get that on film. <laughs> Oh, he wants to play. Yeah, you two. Why don't you two? Hey, why don't you two play fight? I have not let the chickens out of the new coop yet. I was advised by a uh, fellow follower on Instagram. By the way, check out my Instagram if you want to. Just goes with it. To leave them in there for a couple, two or three days. The first night that I was going to let them go in their new coop. Dark Falls. Well, I'm like, okay, standing out here like, okay, guys, you guys are going to, you know, come to your new home. Well, I knew they wouldn't. I had the ladder down. I had their door shut. So basically, just like it is right now, but the ladder was down. They were literally flying up into the closed doors, you know, trying to figure out, how do I get back home? You know, so what I had to end up doing was, I wasn't going to chase them all around my, my yard. I mean, it's just that would be crazy. I went ahead and let them all in there. Shut everything up like I usually would any other night. And I went and ran, you know, went to the, the man door. Grab them one at a time, 15 times. Take it into the new home. And they would squeal like I was a coyote about to eat them for dinner. I mean, if you buy the power, actually, actual skits and take the power boards off, you probably can get them for actually free. I mean, some people just give them out. I grabbed like, I think it was like 200 of them. Didn't even need that many, but I had plenty to build that. And I used scrap two by fours that I had laying around to, to make it work. I almost made that coop almost for nothing. So if you want to ever try to give it a whirl and make it your own, it's it's simple. If you want to know what I used for railings for the, the slide up doors in the closet section of Menards, there's these little like metal I used those, I was like, this will work for railings, and it's worked fine. The roof, the plastic roof, those those are cheap. Corrugated plastic sheet, roofing, whatever you want to call it. They stayed dry, both the bottom and top. I, I'm very happy with it. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the old chicken coop tour. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys like the vid, hit that like button. Maybe even subscribe if you want future watch future videos. We're always, I'm always doing something around here. I love you guys. Take care. Take care of your loved ones. Family first. Peace.